Welcome to Good Mythical More. Oh. We're gonna create <laughs> an amazing tortilla artscape. It's gonna be a soothing Good Mythical More. Hang out with us, relax. But first, we're gonna take a new selfie face. This one's called Walking In on Mom and Dad. <laughs> I kind of did the the thing that a dad would do to a child. You look like you were trying to get a better look. <laughs> Was that intentional? Well, when you're confused, you're inquisitive. Okay, uh, we've got everything we need to create some tortilla art. And we can just eat, eat it too. So let's see, well, what am I gonna do here? The world is my oyster. You ever had an oyster at a Mexican restaurant? I don't believe so. Don't. I don't know, maybe. Let's see, what am I gonna do here? Um, well, I mean, I got these paint brushes. Yeah, what are, the, what are paint brushes for? Okay, I'm, okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do here. Okay, here we go, I'm just gonna start by kind of just creating a, um, just a little. Do we have, we don't have any other uh, utensils, huh? We gotta just go with the hands, huh? I mean, we could probably re request oh. spoons, right. maybe. I'll use the, I'll just use this. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start down here with my beans. I think mine's gonna end up being flat. Yeah, I'm, and do then I'm, gonna have I'm to, doing one where I can like present it to you all. To you all. You know, I, I don't do enough art. Yeah. Art. You know, it's 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 easy to let it slide. It's easy to let it slide. It's good. It's um, it's good to do. You know, uh, it's good when, to do art. It's good to do art, but if you let it slide, you can forget that it's not about the final product. It's about the process. We're both doing a similar thing here. Yeah, I don't know how good I feel about my choice. Because I'm hoping that when I shake this around, it's gonna stay where I wanted it. But now I'm beginning oh, yeah. to think the, the beans are, are quite sticky. If you wanna, if you wanna take a little, take a little uh, cue from the linkster. Well, I, I think the, the cheese is actually doing what I want it to. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now the what we never agreed on as much as we agreed on this this episode. I feel like we've, like I said, we got a lot of uh, Mexican food synergy happening. What are uh, we gonna do with that? How, how, do you, how do you run with that? Well, we, you know, it's like, we said, so what, you want some Mexican food? Then we, we know we're gonna get some guacamole from the, from the Chipotle. Then we're gonna go over to the, uh, well, Javier's was the enchilada. What was, what was the carnitas? I still think, Paquito Mas is the best. Uh, I think Acapulco is what you picked for Acapulco. carnitas. Acapulco, they had, they had some nice, good, and greasy. Nice and good and greasy. What am I gonna do So Stevie, do here? You, you, you began to explain that you have a little bit of an issue with Sharkies. I just don't love Sharkies. Like, so when we order Mexican food here, we'll get, we'll, for everyone in the office, we'll either get Chipotle, Sharkies, Keto Moss. I think those are the three places. I I think Sharky's is the worst one by far. I, and, I agree. You know what? The only thing I had to resort to, like, I got to try something different if we're going to do Sharky's because I just felt disappointed. Yeah. And I will say that my love of Chipotle has waned as my love of the Keto Moss has gotten Moss. Huh. Just a little bit goes a long way at the Moss. There, there. They make their own tortillas right there in front of you. They, they, sh the carnitas are so anitas. Anitas, they're carnitas. Let's the other see. thing is that they, which I know people are gonna be like, you could get, you could ask them to do it Chipotle, but come on. They press their burritos and then all the cheese like nicely melts throughout the burrito and the, you know, tortilla is nicely seared and sealed up and. I mean, it's delicious. I do think of Sharky's as like, if you want like something that is a little bit healthy, but not maybe that doesn't taste that good. 
You know. What? Oh, I usually get the. Well, not usually. I did the same thing that Link did because I was like, maybe there's got to be something good here. Shrimps. But I get the shrimp. At Sharky? Yeah. Sharky's? But if it's you no look Sharky. at, don't look at the calories. When you look at the calories, it's very sad. And then you wind up yeah. getting their naked chicken bowl, which is just literally pieces of chicken that are very under seasoned. Yeah, talk about naked. That's what they do. But if you're going to get carnitas period you gotta go to a taco truck you gotta go to my my preferred carnitas tacos truck which i don't have i i don't have a voice in this this game anymore but taco sarisas in echo park was my my go-to um I, I don't go to the trucks that often well we did a uh you know many i don't know many moons ago a couple years ago we went out with our friend mike He's visiting from out of town. Not, not Mike McCard, but another Mike back from North Carolina. And um, good idea. We were we like, we're gonna find the best. Um, why, why, why can't I remember the type of El taco? Pastor? El Pastor taco. So this is basically when there's essentially the history of the of this taco is that there's a place in Mexico that had that was influenced by the way they do hero meat in Greece, where they take the lamb and they've got it on the big thing and they're spinning it around and cut cooking it and cutting it. They decided that they were gonna do that with pork. And so that thing that you see at the taco trucks when they've got a really good El Pastor taco is that spinning thing and then they'll put some pineapples and some onions and some pineapples. So we went to, how many different trucks did we go to that night? 40. 40? No, we didn't go to that many. Uh, maybe eight, maybe nine. I think maybe 10. Maybe 10, he says. But the whole thing that gave us the idea was, um, was it was it Christie's birthday that we went to that to that uh, that place? Um, yeah, we went to that Brazilian. What's so, the, what's no, the, the secret? The, no, the Cuban. Oh uh, yeah, the Cuban, the Cuban place that sometimes there's burlesque dancers there, but I don't think there were that night. Um, mm. It's just the same people who own uh, Davy Wayne's. Good times at Davy Wayne's. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, what's the name of that place? It's so good. It's a rum bar. It's and a rum bar, but then... Um, right outside of this rum bar, which somebody really needs to look up the name, because it's... Back when we, you know, when we start going to places again, we should go there. Does somebody in here know? I've never been to Davy Wings. Yes, La Descarga. Yes. That's, that's so, it. So right outside of La Descarga, there is uh, a taco guy. But he's not a stand. It's just a little teeny little store, and he and he's selling them out there on the street basically. But he's got a shop, and uh, that night, me and Mike both ate fourteen tacos each. Um, but you know these are like the little street tacos, right? Still two tortillas in each one, so I ate twenty. So you tortillas. didn't eat at the at the Cuban place. You were just you know, there. We, we drank at the Cuban place. Okay, got it, got it. And. Uh, you used all your beans. Hold on, you can't go into done. your brother's beans. I'm done. <laughs> um, I'm under the beans. And uh, so anyway, we go out there. I have 14 of these suckers. And uh, and then Mike comes back into town a few months later. He's like, hey, we need to go to every place in town and figure out if there's anything better than those ones we had that night when we were drinking all that rum <laughs> and eating all those tacos. Yeah, he, he, he thought it was, that was like a life-changing experience for him. And it turns out, after having gone to at least 10 different places, that place, which I don't even know the name of it, because it doesn't, it just says tacos. Best El Pastor taco in all of Los Angeles, right outside of Lettuce Cargo. Just something about the way he did it. I don't know, I don't even know what it was. That, yeah, you, I was surprised at how much they varied from... Uh taco truck to taco truck. And this place wasn't a taco truck. It was just a taco stand. So even even, even the mode of getting the tacos there changes. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. I'm so amazed. So I'm amazing. thinking about it right now and I'm still amazed. So amazing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going Did to... Did I tell you my burlesque dancer at Harvard and Stone story? I probably have. Well, let's hear it again. They have 
have you been to Harvard and Stone when they have? I mean, I let me clarify. I did not go by my own personal choice to Harvard and Stone. It was somebody's birthday. That's why I went there. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but they have burlesque dancers. Um, and one of them, I don't know if this is just something they, I think that they just pick somebody, maybe, even though I haven't seen this before, but one of them really took a liking to me. <laughs> and she had suspenders on, and then she was taking the suspenders off. And I guess she wanted to give me her pants and suspenders aggressively. <laughs> What? So she threw them at me, and the like metal part of the suspenders hit me like right near my eye, <laughs> very hard, it, to the point where it made a, a mark on my eye, and I had to leave. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so. Sorry. And I was like, "That's hot." <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, that's funny. And yes. so I go back to Harvard and Stone every week of my every, own personal Every court. chance you can get, you back there. I feel like I'm pretty close to being done here. This I'm is getting there. This is not exactly what I thought it was going to be. But I'm just kind of dropping things in my lap. When I looked at this bowl, I was like, you know what? This looks like confetti. And you know what confetti in the sky is? Fireworks. So I've created a, uh, a firework display. Um, before I totally reveal this, I want to remind you, if you want to get the Red Link bobbleheads, uh, you got to join third degree quarterly or annual by December 31st of the Mythical Society. Go to mythicalsociety.com, join that quarterly or annual plan, You'll be eligible, and then when they start rolling out and everybody gets one, you'll get one. You'll be like, I'm part of this. It'll feel good. I got to say, when we did this with pancakes, you were both very skepti skeptical, and you kept repeating over and over again, like asking what you were doing and, and why. Now here we are, and you've fully dedicated yourselves to this artwork. Yeah. As you can see, I'm... I'm on a, a dark sand beach with uh, a lot of brown beanish weather happening. There wasn't anything blue to make sky, but I do want to clarify that the sun is in the sky. And then these are two fireworks going off. Okay. Uh, so you got is... palm trees and fireworks, y'all. Volcanic sand beach. Okay, this is precarious. Can't really get a great shot of this because I didn't secure all of it. But there's a person. Keep going. Keep going. I mean, oh gosh. Who is that? That's tr that's um It's a self portrait. That's that rapper dude who went to prison and somehow got out. Well actually mine is an action <laughs> shot. What's his name? Mine is an action shot. And I'm gonna push I'm gonna pull it up and it all it's everything's gonna fall, but he's gonna be there. Like this, check it out. Oh, whoa! Whoa, well, look at his hair! Look at what happened with his hair! Up, me up! What, what is his name? Who's the guy I'm thinking about? Uh, Nobody knows his name? He was in prison? Yeah, that... Harry Connick Jr. Harry Connick Jr. <laughs> Harry Connick Jr. Nobody knows except my son, okay. Takashi 69. Takashi 69, yeah, this is Takashi 69. Uh, it literally. Well, you gotta, you gotta. <laughs> Taki Takashi. That's what you've done. You made Takashi with Takis. I think we've got the freaking title of this video. That looks pretty good, right? Oh yeah. I mean, you didn't even know who Takashi was. I meant every bit. Of it. And this is where he vacations when he's not in prison. Hey, if you want the Rent Link bobbleheads, it's the last month to join the Mythical Society third degree quarterly or annual plans by December 31st to be eligible. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.